Ready for a new booty kicker workout? Hi, I'm Renee McLaughlin, Master TTAP trainer and somatic movement educator, and I am excited to share this 20-minute workout with you that utilizes our beautiful portable booty kicker bar that I love. And this is also going to use our nine-inch exercise ball, or you can use a pillow or even a roll of paper towels will work as well. But if you have a nine-inch ball, that's perfect. And I'm also going to be using our beautiful gliding discs. Again, feel free to use socks if you happen to be on anything that you can slide on, or even a paper plate. I'll be using the gliding discs. All right, let's get us started. Let's start first, just away from the bar a little bit, just doing some nice movements. I love to start classes like this, just getting into our body, starting to warm everything up and just relax it. And inhale, exhale. One of the things that I really like to do as I'm doing this is do a bit of a shake out in the hands. You know, our hands, are the end points of all those muscles and tendons that come all the way up around the neck and shoulders. So just shaking it out can allow you to get rid of so much tension that holds us back from really getting all that we could out of the workouts. All right, now I'm gonna pause here in this position. I'm gonna take this arm and shoulder and I'm going to rotate it. You see what I did? I didn't just bring my arm back. I completely rotated that shoulder. And I'm just gonna roll down here, bring it up around my head. I'm gonna lift this back leg and come around and I'm gonna look back. Now I'm gonna rotate and do a few of these, curling the tail under as you come up and around, curling it under as you come up and around. Give me just two more. Really wanna warm up in the shoulders, in the mid back, in the lower back. Last one of these, and now we're gonna bring the other shoulder up, you're ready, around, and up and around. I love the way that just sort of flows that way. Around and up, lifting that back heel so you can get a bit of rotation, warming up in that mid-back as well, so important. Notice as you do this, if you take your head and look back, look how much more range of motion you get. Notice that when you're doing your workouts, going gently with it because it can really change um, your vestibular system. It's really working that way, so you might even get a little bit kind of dizzy. So now from here, I'm putting my hands here. I'm bending, and I'm going to shift back to get a good curl. Now notice, I'm not doing this. A lot of people tend to lean. Instead, I'm curling under. See what I'm doing with my mid-back? Hands are at the groin, and I'm gonna pull those elbows in just to warm up that. And I'm gonna push down, come vertical, arch the pelvis back, and pull the elbows back. Let's do it a little faster. So we're gonna curl it under, press an arch, press down. You can use the thumbs and the hands to curl the pelvis under. And up, last one, curl it under. I love this, I do it all day long to keep that spine and every muscle of the spine just nice and flexible. Let's go to our booty kicker now. So, I'm gonna do essentially that, but using the booty kicker, getting even more stretch out of it. Hands about shoulder width apart, and I'm gonna stand a little so that I can go all the way out like this. Feet straight if you can, about hip width apart. And now just, did you see what I did? I came from vertical. I arched out, we're gonna go back flat back. Now you're holding your body on here, so you can just go flat back all the way out. Notice, knee over ankle to the little toe, and I might just allow myself to be held here. So I'm getting a big stretch in the lats. Now I'm going to use my arms to pull myself up a little, and I'm gonna curl under. You can even tuck your chin a little bit, and in this position, I am feeling a big lat activation. And then I'm going to use my hands on the booty kicker. I'm going to press up, arch, and come on back. Let's do two of them a little faster. Are you ready? So you're going to curl under and arch back. You're going to pull up and curl it under and arch back, and then use your hands to come all the way on up, and then I like to push in, almost like in a push-up, and 
push yourself away. The good thing is you can do all that with this booty kicker. All right, now let's get a little bit of lower leg going on there too. All you have to do is just take one leg straight back, good, and the other one, get yourself in a good position, knee over ankle, pressing, and I'm gonna push down and lift that back heel and press it back. Push up, press back. Push it forward, press it out. How about one more? Push forward, press it out. Now watch this. I'm going to hinge forward, okay? I'm gonna put a hand on a knee, hand on a knee. Now my knee is over my ankle. Then I'm gonna drop my fingers down to the floor. And now what are you doing? You're loading up on this glute, which feels so good, or it, you can feel it. Let's just put it that way. And then I'm gonna reach a little forward, press through that front heel and bring my arms to my waist. Now you can do this in front of a booty kicker because you have all that room. Take it down, press up. Take it down, press those arms right to your waist. Now I'm gonna hinge slightly forward, okay? Make sure that your hips are level. Hinging forward again, you're loading this glute up. Arms are in 90 degrees in fists and I'm gonna press back. We're gonna do a little bit of tricep work. In, press away. In, press away. Now you can also straighten the front leg a little bit and press back. Come forward a little, press back. That's if you're really feeling just too much in that front leg. You can lift up and go back. You need two more. In, you can always pick up weights to do this if you want, but quite frankly, you can just do it like this. Let's put our hand here on this leg. Push down, bring the other leg in, hands on the bar, bring yourself up, time to go to the other side. So let's just take that leg straight back. Now one of the things you wanna be careful of is all 10 toes are facing forward. Otherwise, your hip is like this. You know, I always talk about that you have your hip light bulbs. If your hip foot is like this, your light bulbs aren't straight ahead. So you wanna keep that there. I'm gonna push in, I'm gonna press forward, press back. Push it in. Press it back. I love working feet, lower leg, ankles, calves, press up. Did you know that tight calves will give you weak glutes? And none of us want that, do we? Lift and drop. All right, so I'm right there. I'm going to put my hands on this front knee, knee over the ankle. I'm hinging forward. I'm going to drop down and put my fingertips down there. And I'm just going to hang here for a second allowing that front glute to load. And then I'm gonna pull my hands, almost like I'm grabbing a big either laundry basket or press a whole bunch of leaves up into my chest. Hinge forward to go again. Take it down, reach and bring it up. Hinge over, take it down, grab that big bunch of leaves, bring it to your waist. Last one, take it down, bring it here. Good work, you're ready. Hinge forward, weight on this leg, bring that one in. Push and come on up. All right, let's grab our ball. I love to do a little bit of ball work with the booty kicker. Press it up, you're right about your knees. And make sure that you have your feet hip width apart. See, with this ball, you do you have to squeeze it to get in there. I could have my feet here, and that way the ball still stays, but I'm a little too wide. So I'm gonna bring my feet in, and that way I gotta squeeze an easy release. Squeeze and release. I'm thinking, I'm not thinking tuck, but I'm thinking tailbone down, stretching up, squeeze the knees, release. Give me two more. Squeeze, release. Last one, really good for pelvic floor. And now, let me go to the side just so you can see what I'm doing, but you can do either way, either both hands here. I'm gonna go back into a squat. Press and lift. Squeeze those thighs together. Down and lift. Down, push and lift. You can use the arms on this, or you can come to the side, down and press. Now on the next one, I'm gonna lift my heels. So I'm coming up, squeeze the ball, lift the heels. Now something just to pay attention to. If I'm not paying attention to my feet, I might do this where my ankles go out. So think about pressing through your big toe ball joint to rock those heels. Let's do three. Take it back, all the way up with the heels, big toe ball joint, and drop. In, and let's lift 
that arm at the same time. Take it out. Bring it up to the side. Lift. Last one. Back and lift. And back to here. Good work. Now, if you can, lift the heels even a little bit. Now, if this hurts your knees or your feet at all, you drop those heels. It's perfectly fine. I'm going to go to the side now. Heels lifted. Squeezing the ball. Go down into your squat position. Okay, so this is a lower range of motion. You're holding on. You're going to lift a little and drop that booty down. Squeeze the ball. Lift and down. Squeeze ball. Lift and down again. If you need to, drop the heels. It's still a wonderful move. If you can keep it up, do. Lift. And it doesn't have to be high. Maybe like a little kitten heel. Give me just one more. Lift and drop. You ready? Come all the way up. Drop those heels. Oh, doesn't that feel so good when you get rid of it? It does. Now, we're going to switch and use a sliding disc. Ball down, disc up, put it right under here on your one foot. So, now we're going to lengthen out the legs. So, hands here on the bar, feet hip width, and you know that the heel is off. You're on the toe ball joints on that, on that gliding disc. So, take it back. Now, the beautiful thing about this is pause for a second, knee over ankle, right? You're going to use push that foot in to come all the way up vertical. Let's do four like that. You ready? Push it out, press up as one, take it down, push all the way up as two, take it down. That's three. Last one is four. Four. Now we're going to go back, but change it up. So go back and pause. Good. Now watch my upper body. I'm going to hinge forward a little bit. I'm going to bring it in and out. Now what am I doing? I'm working bicep curls. Good. In and out. The other thing you can do is an underhand. In and out. This is where this booty kicker is so great. And back. In and back. Just two more. I'm dying, you guys. And back. And in, and back. Now ready? Use the arms to bring yourself all the way up. Yes, yes, let's switch over. So you can do, uh, you know, forward hand and underhand. Underhand opens you up more in that shoulder. All right, let's go to the other side. So we start vertical, all the way back. Knee over ankle, take that leg straight back. Oh, get that lovely lengthening. And push all the way back up. That's one. Take it down. Knee over ankle. Press all the way up. That's two. And out. What a beautiful way to open in that hip. That's three. Give me one more. Take it back. And all the way up. Now we're going down and we're pausing. All the way down and pause. Hinge the upper body forward. Lift and press away. So you can see we're actually working upper body. I'm going to go underhand now, underhand, and back. Underhand, good, give me two more if you can. Underhand, and underhand. Now I'm going to bring myself all the way up. <sighs> I know, it's quite challenging. These toys, the gliding disc, the ball, the kicker, just makes it so much more challenging but fun. And it gives you some great variety to really help you tighten and turn the body. Now you thought we were done, but we're not quite done. We need to do a little bit of ab work. So I'm going to bring out my, my mat. I'm better with the mat because I'm going to use my ball to get down on the ground. Now, we're gonna do some beautiful little ab work using the ball swished underneath the tailbone. So coming here, yes, this is, I mean, there's really no better way to work lower abs without hurting your back is to really squeeze that in, feet are hip width. I'm gonna look straight ahead. I like it doing it to the side so you can really see what we're doing. And arms out, shoulder height, drop those shoulders. Inhale, exhale. So relax the lower back, you're exhaling, drawing the belly in. Just go back until you feel those abs engage. Good. Now, Lift up an inch off the ball, bring it down just an inch. Up and an inch. Up, pull the belly in on that inch. Two more. Lift and down. I know you can feel it. Lift 
and down, good. Now, once you're there, again, shoulder standing. Now, slowly begin to bring those arms above the head. Notice where all of a sudden you're like, okay, I can feel it. Now, not the head, just the eyeballs. Look up and notice how that changes everything. That's when you're going to start to shake. I know, hold it there if you can. Give me five, four, three, two, one. You're ready to roll it all the way back up. So good. All right, we're not done here. Take a deep breath in again. Exhale, roll down. Now open the arms slowly out to the sides. I want you to think shoulders down, tuck your chin back with from the top of the head so you're not getting this in your neck. Good, belly button is pressing in and up. Now you're not all the way down here, only to where you can control that move and feel it. This is called the earthquake. At that right about now you see why. You're probably shaking, which is a beautiful thing. All right, I like to like grab my big bunch of leaves and bring yourself back up. Now we're not quite done with the little ball there. We're gonna get some rotation here. So I'm going to show you a couple of ways. One of the things you can do, let's get in our position, exhale, draw the belly into here. You can put a hand behind the knee to protect yourself and just go over to wherever you can and control it and then bring yourself up. Other side, over and up. So you can just stay with that or you can think shoulders down, hands round. I like to roll down first, do a rotation, touch, that's my long lever, come back, rotate back to the center, and then roll up, roll down, turn, touch, over to the center, roll up, let's do one more time, inside, inhale, exhale, draw the belly in, turn, touch, back, to the center and up, last one, roll down, over, touch, back to the center and roll yourself up and you might even want to clamshell and just rotate out. Now from here, I want you to take that ball, put it right about between your shoulder blades and let's bring the legs up in a good place so you feel supported. Hands behind the head, Good, you're just supporting that beautiful neck and head, and I want you to uh, allow your upper body to come down. Let those elbows go out wide so that you're really opening there, and allow the back to arch, okay? So you're rolling the tailbone under. That's your inhale position. Now on the exhale, like a sit up, let the ball support your upper body, draw the belly in. So let's go again, inhale down. Oh, open those elbows, get that pec stretch, exhale. You're flattening the back, drawing the belly in, and looking up, let's do two more. Inhale down, exhale up, inhale down, exhale up. Last one, you're ready, inhale down. Exhale up. Now we're just going to do one more set in this position. Bring the leg up to wherever you can. I like to do a hamstring stretch here. Now notice, see the ball is supporting you now. So you're not using all that neck and shoulder muscle that might be hurting you. So just bring it up. I like to kind of flex the foot with the bend and just straighten to wherever you can. You might not be able to have that same flexibility. It's just a nice little stretch here. And then point the toe, you want that leg straight up from the hip. Hands again behind the neck. So we're going to inhale, drop that leg down and the upper body down. You ready? Inhale down. Exhale up. Inhale down. Exhale up. Keep the other leg straight up. It's probably going to want to go out to the side. Keep it in alignment. Give me two more. Inhale. Exhale. Last one, inhale, exhale. It's a beautiful thing, bend and other side, you ready? Isn't it nice to have the ball supporting you there mid back so we can do this without like feeling the strain of the head and the neck, which is never a good thing. And stretch, this is why this ball is just such a beautiful tool 
hand behind. Tool toy. Inhale down. Oh, I love how that feels. And exhale up. Draw that belly in. Inhale down. Exhale up. Two more. Inhale down. Exhale up. Last one. Inhale down. Exhale up. Bend those knees. Now you're ready. Hand behind the knees. You're already there. Use it to roll yourself on up. Isn't that lovely? So, I love that workout. Let's end with a nice little stretch. So we're just gonna come around. If you can't do a cross leg position, you can come here, okay? If this doesn't work for you, then just say blessings. I've had a great time, Renee. But if you can cross, that's a good thing too. Now, notice what foot's in front. So it's this, which would be that way. That's how we're gonna walk the legs. I want you to take your ball, I'm gonna wiggle on my bones a bit. I'm gonna hinge here. In other words, I'm not curling my back. Okay, let me go to the side just so you can see. It's a difference, you won't feel the same. If I curl this way, I'm not gonna get a stretch under here. If I think, come on over, elbows on those knees, okay, now I am gonna feel that right under here. It's a beautiful, beautiful stretch, and that's how you're gonna know you're in a good place. So I'm hinging forward. And then you can walk the ball out. So you're arching, just walk it out to wherever that feels good to you. You can all look down. Ooh, I love using the ball for this because you can just play here. You can play to see what feels good to you in that stretch. So now I'm gonna walk it over to that side and what you're gonna find is you're gonna get a stretch on that front leg hip. And you can relax the head there. You can kind of roll the ball around to kind of get your place. When you feel a place that feels kind of gnarly, just come back out of it a little bit. Inhale and relax down. You'll find that all of a sudden you will get a nice release. So I'm going to bring this ball in and I'm going to switch the leg that's in front. Always good to do a leg switch. We always tend to use the same leg in front because we're always dominant one side. So it's really important to switch so we keep everything balanced. And we're gonna walk out again. Just notice how it's gonna feel different with the other leg in front. Inhale, exhale, and relax. And then I'm gonna walk this beautiful ball over to the other side. So that's my front foot. It's facing that way. And I'm going, oh my goodness, yes, I can feel that whole side. So again, play with it. Notice where you're getting your stretch. You might need to back off a little bit, doing an inhale. Exhale, see if you can use your mind to relax all those tight muscles. Then roll that ball right back to the center. Roll it back in. Ta-da! You had a great workout. And notice everything that you did, right? You curled, you scooped, you stretched your sides, we worked our legs, we worked our abs. It's a good thing. So I hope you enjoyed this. Do this workout, comment, come back, do it again, let me know how you think. And in the meantime, enjoy that beautiful booty kicker. Thanks so much. Have a fit and fabulous day.